this is Alexandria here and I'm going to show you my hack on my silk presses. So when it gets old and puffy like this and it's just not pressing and silking like it's supposed to, I go ahead and I do this hack. So I spritz some water and I put some oil on my hair. That way when I comb it out like you see I'm doing here, I have less breakage. We try to stay away from combing, uh, you know, dry hair. I really do. But the tip and trick to this hack is making sure we get our roots okay we want to make sure that our roots are combed out so I'm going back in with my paddle brush here and just really making sure that my roots are combed out because I just hate to have buildup of knots and the detangling process especially with my hair is just sometimes can be really brutal so I make sure I take the time and comb out my hair so now that we are pretty much kind of detangled here, we're going to take this old bummy silk press that is not a silk press no more, and we're going to get into this little hack I have. So I'm starting with sectioning the back, and if you haven't guessed, we are doing a twist out. So here in my natural hair spray bottle, we have water, coconut oil, castor oil, olive oil, shea moisture's deep conditioner, and aloe vera juice, Okay. And a light styling gel, like Eco Styler Gel, is what we're going to use for the hold. So we're going to spritz our section so it's just damp but not too wet so our hair starts reverting. And we're going to start and twist it down after we, you know, put our gel on. So spritz, gel, and start twisting down. And your hair should not be reverting back just yet. All right, so at the end, you'll notice that it might be a little straight, and that's okay because, you know, we're coming off of a silk press, but this is how we combat that. We just take our end and we wrap it around the length of our hair going up. I'll show you guys this again um, towards the end of the video, but that's how that goes. So we have three twists in the back, and we're going to start on um, this front part here. So for this front part, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go ahead, like you saw, I spritzed. As you can see, my hair is not reverting back just yet. And I am going to go ahead and do a flat twist in the front. So the reason why I'm choosing to do a flat twist is because sometimes towards the front, I like my curls to be, um, I don't know, like a little tighter and like, you know, I don't know, the difference between a flat twist and then just having a free hanging twist can sometimes be different. And I kind of like the effect you'll, I can't necessarily describe it in words, but you'll see it towards the end of the video. But don't, you know, don't fret if you don't know how to do a flat twist. Just give it some practice. But until then, you can just do regular twists. I recommend doing about maybe three up in the front as well, just how you did the back. So this is what we are left with, with three twists in the back and a front twist in the front. Our ends are knotted up like you saw and how I explained earlier. So now we got to go and do this side, which I'm going to totally do off camera. So I will see you all boop in the morning. Hey. <laughs> so I went ahead and I put my twists in a bun to kind of stretch them out overnight. That's what you see here. And this is me taking them out. So in total, we have eight twists, six in the back, and then two flat twists in the front. And as you can see, our hair actually kind of reverted back. It's juicy, juicy. Yep. And again, this is coming off of a silk press. So, you know, we combed out our hair. So I don't pull too much on my curls when I'm taking them out just because I know that they will separate even more and more as time goes on so don't be too rough with your hair like you see how I'm doing I'm kind of raking and if the curls aren't coming apart naturally like you have to like force it then don't worry about it do not do that um you know just kind of let the curls fall how they will and as the day goes by you'll see those curls to separate and your hair actually will probably get a little bigger yeah so thus far this side is looking really really good and I really like this kind of um this look it's not so much volume but it's just enough and I'm really feeling it so let's go ahead and take out this other side and see what we got and there it is, all of those curls. Now, don't be like me and walk out the house without picking out your roots because <laughs> you see that line there. But regardless, the style and the curls are A1. So remember, ladies, after you get your silk press, take your time and revert your hair back by just doing a simple twist out. This is the hack 
of the year and I am in love. So I'll probably be rocking my hair like this for a while until I feel like, you know, maybe I want to go back and get a silk press or straighten my hair again. Or I'll just go ahead and throw a deep condition in. But these are the curls. And this is what we are working with. And I love it. If you guys try this old silk press hack and doing a twist out, please let me know. Put the comments below. And I hope you do because it's really prolonged this style and moisturize my hair. But I'll see you lovelies later. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. See ya. <laughs>